Hi guys, I hope everyone's having a really good day. I am going to read off a list of nine chemicals that are in everyday fabrics, mattresses, and furniture. And these are things for you to keep an eye out for when you're buying things, okay? So here goes. PBTE flame retardants. Uh, a recent study found these chemicals are the greatest contributor to intellectual disabilities like ADHD and autism. That's one. PFOS. They're in really pretty much everything, including upholstery, and it's called the forever chemical. A recent study found PFOS was detected in the blood of 97% of Americans, including babies and children. Formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is actually in tons of fabrics, and it's one of the biggest um, chemicals in leather. Very, very dangerous. And also in wrinkle-free sheets. Don't ever buy wrinkle-free sheets. They contain formaldehyde. As of dyes, this dye is banned in Europe, so if you buy a printed fabric, for example, or a printed set of sheets, and it does not say that there's azo dyes in it, you can assume there are, so don't buy them. Chlorine, that's used in the process of cleaning wool. Wool also contains a ton of pesticides, which is next on my list, there we go. Free from bugs, pesticides used to keep animal-based materials free from bugs. So most animal-based materials contain pesticides. Even if they say they don't in the end product, they had pesticides in them from, from the beginning, so they're never free. Phthalates, a class of chemical used in nearly every consumer product from plastics to tablecloths. As for furniture, they can be found in floor tiles, furniture, upholstery, and carpet backings. More than 470 million pounds of phthalates are produced or imported in the U.S. yearly. Arsenic, another chemical that is also found in leather and many other animal skins. Arsenic, crazy, right? Tanneries are one of the most toxic industries in the world. That is where leather is. That's where the skins are then tanned because uh, leather is um, really the skin of a dead animal, correct? So if you just leave it there, it's going to rot, just like a scab that we have on our skin. So they have leather has to be soaked in chemicals, just like any other animal-based material. And last, chromium, a lethal chemical also used in the tanning process of leather. So those are nine chemicals to stay away from. Thank you.